No one's walked in on the porta potty this weekend to you. No, no. You know, a lot of people <laughs> were really interested in that. And you know what I thought was really creepy is that there was a cameraman who followed me. <laughs> I think the cameraman was following you because you were helmet, yeah. pawn, you were committed. So before the start of the race, it was really cold in Atlanta. And it was really cold. Sometimes you got to go, right? And uh, I went to find a bathroom and there was no bathroom by my car. And it's like, well, I guess it is what it is. And I got halfway through the race and um, my car has a, a switch in it that blows in uh, air that's not really cold, but it's been cleaned. My team had wired that same switch in with a fan that blows on your back. Well, it was already pretty cold. And a fan blowing on your back when you gotta go, it was really uncomfortable. Let's just put it that way. Like, I had to go, I was cold. And with like, yeah, I don't know, 50 to 100 laps to go, I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna make it. I don't know how I'm gonna make it, but I'm not peeing myself. <laughs> and I was committed to not doing that, but as soon as the race was over, you know, like the adrenaline's gone, and you're just like, I have got to go, and I've got to go right now. So I got out of my car, and uh, I mean, like I said, I didn't, I didn't take my helmet off, but I, mean, like, I just, as soon as I got out of my car, I saw a bathroom, and I went. So, uh, what happened after that, I, I have no idea, but it was it was uh, one of those great moments in your life. So, yeah. <laughs>